When you think about Ozan Barish, he's played in, I want to say, every continent except for Antarctica. He's played on the biggest stage. He's played in every Grand Slam. He's won a Grand Slam, which not many college tennis players can say they've done. Come on! Let's go! I liked both basketball and tennis, and I just felt like tennis clicked a little more for me. And my sister is also playing tennis as well. It was a sport that both of them can do. A girl and a boy, they don't have to be on different teams. They can be playing it at the same time. So it was very attractive for me, being a single mom, being able to arrange it. I remember my mom telling me this little story where I was eight years old. I think I'd played in my, it was either my first or second tournament and the match is like an hour and a half. And for some reason, she was like, oh man, like he's good. He's, he's actually able to last that long. In my head, I was like, oh man, I'm getting destroyed. But I, I didn't mind at the time. I was just having fun playing. Once I was about nine years old, I think I got up to number one in the Midwest, winning some big tournaments. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at this. And the best part was I was just enjoying myself playing. I wanted to keep improving and see how far I could take it. For the first couple of years, I would say two or three out of every weekend, we were traveling somewhere. It was a lot of fun just to be spending that time together. But on top of it, seeing the growth and the resilience and the development in both of them, I think those were the best parts of all of that. There's four Grand Slams, Australian Open, French Open, Wimbledon, and US Open. They're the biggest tournaments of the year. 128 players get in. It has the biggest prize money, and it's just the most prestigious events. I played in all the Grand Slams for the juniors, like 18 and unders, twice. So that was a lot of fun. Being with the pros where they're playing, it's really unique because you just get to see how they do it. You get to see it up close and personal. It really motivated me to keep going. That's where I want to be. That's the highest level of tennis. Game, set, match. At the U.S. Open last year, we won doubles, which was just awesome. Like being able to play on maybe it was Saturday or something, where like the men are playing the semifinals, the women are playing the semifinals. It was just cool to still be there and actually win the tournament. Your 2022 US Open boys doubles champions, Ozan Barris and Nishes Basso are ready. Tennis is a very difficult sport in the sense that everything depends on how you are that day and also everything depends on how your opponent is that day, which you have no control over. So anything can happen. For him to be able to achieve that at the end of his junior career, I think it was the best award he could have got after all those years of sacrifices. One day you can feel confident, the next day not so much. And it just changes throughout the year as well. When you're winning, it's a lot easier to be confident. When you're losing, it takes a little more from you. But I think that confidence just comes from an inner belief that you're doing the right stuff and I, like I am where I'm supposed to be. I've earned where I am now and I know I have a lot more to accomplish as well. From a young age, Ozan has always had the mentality that he wants to be a professional tennis player. And so it was always, well, how do I get there? There's always going to be more that's asked from you as you kind of tick the boxes. And every time more has been asked, he's willingly accepted it and asked, then what's next? Everything is elevated in college. It's like everything is a lot more electric. And I really love it, honestly. Just having the fans be so involved, you can get loud. You don't have to be proper, you don't have to act a certain way. You can just be whoever you want to be out there. And it's loud, it's fun, it's intense. With college tennis, you're competing for all of your teammates, all your brothers. And yeah, I love that, honestly. Like, it's something bigger than myself. It's, it's for my teammates, it's for the college. It's big. It's pretty awesome that I'm able to play so many pro tournaments even during my college career. Every time I go out there, it just shows me what it's like to compete at that level and what I need to do so then I can bring it back to MSU and 
keep working on those things. It's, it's exposed at the higher levels, you know, the weaknesses, what I need to work on. So it's just, it's a unique opportunity to have that. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm really happy for him because he's happy here. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It definitely takes a village and more to raise a student athlete. We have been very lucky with the, with the support we had, but Coach Harry and Coach Mike and Coach Orlando, all three of them have been quite instrumental in who he is, what he aspires to be, and it's more than tennis, it's family. And they have his back. And to me, I cannot ask for more. Make every point as tough as possible on him. Find your forehand, swing at your forehand, right? Let's go, man. Great job. Love the confidence you're exuding. Love it. I, I want to do things differently than they have been done in the past, and I want to move this four into an area that I think it would be really cool if people talked about tennis the same way that they talk about basketball and football. And, you know, I, I see myself having a personality where I think that's possible. I don't really know if I completely agree with all the traditions and everything of tennis. You know, I respect them, of course. Tennis is a rich history, but I think, you know, moving forward, it's gonna, it, it has to become something electric, something that everyone wants to watch. And I'm really curious to see how that happens. And if I can be a part of that, then you know, that's gonna be a lot of fun. We're in Arizona, we got a big day, big, big day. We've got practice round and Valerie Pata making her LPGA debut at Superstition Mountain. Woo! Exciting stuff. <laughs> Brooke Bierman. We're out of coach here in Arizona, that. playing Arizona State's home tournament at King Invitational. <laughs> she said. We play nationals my freshman year in Scottsdale. So that was kind of a cool experience. So being back here, it's pretty nice. We usually play in like Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina. So like play, play like once a year here in Arizona, it's, it's fun. Today we're kind of just coming out here. It's a big change playing in Michigan and Arizona. So trying to find out what we're hitting off the tee and just getting used to it. National championships obviously in Arizona, so it'll be good to get used to that. Hopes that will return here in a couple months. It's been about about a month since we've played, so uh, we're ready to get back into it. And uh, we had a good spring break um, about a couple weeks ago down in Florida playing golf, so uh, we feel like we're ready. The best part of this is just being with the team and traveling and being able to have so many different experiences every single week, which is awesome. another plane to my left that close, I would freak out. <laughs> she thinks bad things are going to happen. Although last time on the your flight, on our flight, the lady has assured us that no one crashes because of turbulence. <laughs> okay, now. Ready, Jake? <laughs> Practice rounds are super important just to make us feel more prepared for tomorrow um, for competition, to get used to the course and just golf in Arizona, just get used to the grass and where we have to play some shots off the tee and on the green and I think it's going to be a good day just to prepare for tomorrow. This is the first time we've played in the Ping ASU Invitational which is really cool. I've been waiting to play in this event for a while. Happy to be here. An incredible field. So yes, we are back to competition mode and uh, we're ready to go and, and see how the day is going to go for us. Now on the team from Michigan State, Leela Rain.
haven't really played in a lot of wind this season yet, so, you know, just getting adjusted to that, kind of feeling out our game was something we had to get acclimated to. Greens are rock hard, and so that doesn't make it any easier when there's a lot of wind. So, you know, just fairways and greens was crucial to today, and hopefully have a few birdies and make up for the bogeys. Beautiful sunshine, great conditions. Just keep moving up the leaderboard if we can. You know, again, there's some, some of the best teams in the country that are here. And we know that we're capable of playing with anyone out there and just proving to ourselves, you know, what we are capable of and all we can do. The goal is to win the Big Ten Championship and then to be in Scottsdale at the third week of May for the National Championship. So just getting used to these conditions and the grass that is out here. We've been playing on Bermuda all year. So this is the first time in 23 that we're back on what we call our grass. This is overseeded, which is really nice. And yeah, the goal is, is to win, to win as many as we can, as much as we can. And uh, we always want to bring home another Big Ten trophy for Michigan State, then be one of the best 30 teams in the country to play at Greyhawk at the third week of May. We were watching Valerie today. We haven't seen her for like a couple months. So that's really cool. I'm excited. First round of the year. Well, thank you. Go root for Bell and Jason. Yes, yes. I record. Be out there. So that's Valerie's like a mentor in her life. Very good day to read. So I was able to take those three players over to the drive-on LPGA Championship. Luckily, Valerie Plata, our newest LPGA Tour member, had the last tee time, which was 2 p.m. So we got to head over there and cheer her on as, as an LPGA Touring professional, which was so exciting to see. And you know, just knowing that we're making a difference and helping young people realize their dreams and their goals at Michigan State, that we're the platform that's helping them move on to the LPGA Tour. It was just a great, great, wonderful day for us. Keep on going. Come on! Yeah. We were first told that there were just new stencils, so it was really cute to see it like this. It's obviously, as a woman student athlete, it's a lot of fun to see it like this, and I think this is a beautiful way to represent what it took for us to get here. Our marketing team is so thoughtful and intentional on what they're doing and they honestly came into my office going over some ideas and I looked at our rackets and thought, hey, what a great way to make this unique to our sport and our program by putting it on our rackets. This is honestly the first time that I'm actually getting into it directly. I got a little background information from my coach about it. It's a big step for women's tennis and, and women's college sports in general and I, will, I would definitely love to learn about it more. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was fun doubles, really. You girls played great energy, did good fundamentals, what we asked of you. Really, really good job. Sports is such an important part of learning and to not be able to do that, something that you love, and it's just to me, it's mind boggling that they weren't allowed to do such things.
You gotta be grateful for who created that and what that past looked like and that path to where we are now. I think the most important thing is that I have the ability to pass this along now. I am learning something and I'm doing something that a lot of people want to do or dream of doing but they never have the chance and I think just the title line and just being a younger student athlete at a very good school is a big opportunity to spread it into the world. We're not here just to play football. We're here to develop young men, men that'll make positive impacts on the society. We want them to be able to take care of their family, and of course, give back to their community. When we talk about being a student athlete, we really mean that that's the totality of everything that's involved with coming to Michigan State and getting everything out of the opportunity that comes with being a Spartan. Let's have a good day, let's have a day now. So the 360 degree student athlete experience is the next rendition of our player development platform. We have rules of life for everything, for driving, for golf, for dining, for all these other things. We're trying to really encompass the entire 360 degree student athlete experience, the holistic development of the student athlete at Michigan State University that includes the athletic piece, the academic piece, social piece, spiritual piece, mental piece, and the new piece that's really kind of taken over college athletics, that of personal branding. So you need to understand how to leverage social media to amplify your brand. We wouldn't have this program be able to implement and actually utilize this program without the drive and determination uh, and the push from Coach Tucker. Coach Tucker truly believes in the totality of the holistic 360 degree student athlete and he is all about making sure that uh, we are developing the entire student athlete to the point where he's at every meeting, every function. We had an etiquette dinner, he's there. We have a branding session, he's there. Community service opportunities, he's going to each one. He wants to make sure that he's as involved as the student athletes to show the importance. It's good stuff that we can get while being here, you know, and it'll prepare us for life. And it gives us good things to do while we're here. You know, like the etiquette dinner, you can learn stuff that maybe you didn't know before. And then all the NIL stuff that helps too with getting to know what to do in certain situations and how to use your money and how to make money. So it's, it's good stuff. Being able to create what we like to call generational wealth and equity from being first time homeowners, being able to make smart investments, starting their credit early, and then being financially independent, which means that they can give back to those that have afforded them the opportunity to be here at Michigan State. That's what I want our guys to get out of this program. It's all mental, bro. It's not all about making a bunch of money and getting a bunch of deals and all this stuff from NIL. It's about the totality of everything that comes from this program. The mainstay of that and the top of that is just being educated and then being able to pass down the education to whoever comes behind them. It's awesome, you know, it builds you as a person. We control it right now. We're zero and zero. And that's what you want in college. You don't want it to just be football. Obviously, we're here to win games, but you want to build your life as well. You want to be able to graduate here and have a good plan set for what you're doing, either whether that's with football or without football, you know, if you make it to your ultimate goal playing the NFL, you know, that's a lot of money on the table. And if you don't know how to handle it, you know, things could go sideways. So different stuff like that and learning how to be a good man, uh, be a good father someday. Those are all great things. When we're talking to pro scouts, the first things that they're asking about are how are these guys off the field? You know, they have a great relationship with Mandy Chandler, for example, from academics. They go to Mandy and ask them about the person, the man, uh, who they're going to bring into their organization, their program. So we want to teach these guys all the skills that they need to be successful. You know, how to handle money, how to handle that fame, that success. Again, their personal brand, their image, how they're representing an organization and how they're representing their family. Of course, the name on the back of their jersey. So when you're talking about getting to the next level, we talk about the one track of success plan, which is that everything you're doing gets you on that same track of success that includes the NFL and beyond, and the 360 degree student athlete experience allows us to do that. We have three heats of this event.
had to ship things to Friday because of weather. Support has been amazing in terms of just all of our department, our staff, just really stepping up to get things done. I mean, it's a chance for us just to work on some things, get some extra work in. We train through this meet, so it's all about mentality. You know, there's some adversity with the weather. We just talk about being consistent in their approach. It doesn't matter who else they're competing against, what the conditions are like. We just have to show up and put ourselves in a position to be at our best.